Welcome to another lesson in the TI30X Plus Math Print Student course. In this lesson, we introduce the options feature to create a sequence of numbers and find the sum of these numbers. The example that we're going to look at says the following. The nth term or number in a sequence of numbers is given by the formula TN equals 6n minus 1. Part A is write down the first term or number in the sequence. Part B is find the 50th term or number in the sequence. And part C is find the sum of the first 50 terms or numbers in the sequence. So we can answer parts A and B quite quickly now. The first term corresponds to n equals 1. So we substitute n equals 1 into our formula and 6 times 1 is 6 minus 1 is 5. So the first term or first number in the sequence is 5. To find the 50th term, we substitute n equals 50 into our formula and we get 6 times 50 is 300 minus 1 is 299. But part C, we're going to use the list feature of the calculator to determine the sum of those first 50 numbers. To do this, we're going to press data to access the lists. If needed, we press data and then either scroll down to clear all or press four, or in this instance, we can press enter and that clears the lists of any values used in a previous question or problem. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to press data again and we're going to scroll across to this command ops, which is short for options. You can see that there are, uh, we can sort the list from smallest to largest value, from largest to smallest value. We can create a sequence and we can find the sum of a list. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a sequence. So by highlighting three, pressing three or press enter, we get to the sequence fill uh, set of commands. And we want to fill list L1, so that's highlighted. And down the bottom of the screen there, that's saying that we can have a list consisting of 50 numbers. So we press enter or by pressing um, your arrow key down, we're now going to enter an expression in X. Now our formula in the question was in terms of N, so our expression in X is going to be six times X minus one. So we press six, then we press the variable button to paste X in, press the subtraction key and then one, and that's our expression in X. Arrow down and our, we need a 50 terms. So our first X value is going to be one. So we're going to start at one and our end x value is going to be 50 because we want 50 terms and we want x to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, all the way up to 50. So our step size is 1. We uh, use arrow down to highlight sequence fill, press enter, and you can see that L1 or list 1 now consists of the first 50 values generated by that formula. Uh, so it starts with 5, then 11, 17, 23, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. Now part C of our example asks us to find the sum of all these values. So what we do is we press data. Uh, you can also uh, go to the left to highlight ops or options. And number four is sum list. So with that four highlighted, we press enter. We want to sum the list of values in L1. So we press enter again to highlight calc, which is short for calculate. Press enter. And that gives us the sum of the numbers in the list. So the sum of the first 50 numbers generated by that formula is 7,600. If you wished to use that result in a subsequent calculation, you can store it as a variable and you can see the list of options there. Okay, that's it for this lesson. 
thanks for watching and see you next time.